Sagen Sie jetzt mal bitte A. A. Na, Chi. Anarchie. Anarchie. Ob geschichtlich oder brandaktuell? Mit Berichten und Interviews, mit Beiträgen und Collagen beleuchtet das anarchistische Radio Berlin das Phänomen des Anarchismus. Viva Anarchia! As part of a journey through Eastern Europe, a member of the Anarchist Radio Berlin had the opportunity of talking to a comrade of Sirena. Sirena is a squad in the inner city of Warsaw and has its origins in the tenants movement. In this interview, we talk about the huge amount of activities like anti-racist work, social work and anarchist activities that are getting started out of Sirena. Further, we talk about the connection to the Prichotnia squad, which is located directly behind Sirena, as well as about the comrades' personal opinion of the controversial selling of the Otsisk squad in Poznan, which is quite a current issue in the Polish movement. Hello, Paul. Hi. Thank you for giving an interview to A-Radio. You're part of the house collective around Sirena, mm -hmm. which is in squad in the inner city of Warsaw. Could you tell us a little bit about the beginnings of this squad and what its main idea was? Yeah, this uh, place was a squad act in almost five years ago as a direct reaction to murder of Jola Brzeska a tenant activist, co-founder of Warsaw Tenants Association. Uh, she she was the uh, last survivor struggling in her uh, in her in the house that was being reprivatized in her block and uh, she was very active in organizing tenant movement in Warsaw and her uh, burned corpse was found in the in the woods on the beginning of March 2011. And uh, and after hearing this news, many people in Warsaw, in tenant movements, decided it's time to drop the citizen form of resistance and go to the more direct, uh, direct action sort of uh, organizing. And part of this was uh, opening this this house we are at right now, Seana, that was at the time already have been reprivatized and it was cleared of tenants by the, uh, it was uh, abandoned because the, the owner managed to remove most of the tenants. Some people widely re-squatted their apartments in, in one part of the building, but most of it was empty and falling apart when we entered. And since then this Uh, this collective is organized here and we are managing to, uh, to keep this space and fix it and also the, the spirit of, of this resistance and close, uh, close ties with tenant movement, uh, are, are our main field of action here in Warsaw. Um, which kind of actions are starting out of this place at this time, you would say, or how can you describe it? Because I saw some other rooms in this building, like a free shop, like an open kitchen, a bike repair cafe. Yeah, uh, yeah. we keep um, most of the building actually is not for strictly for a living uh, purpose, but for social spaces. Uh, biggest of them is a uh, 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 Bojo cafe we are at right now. That is uh, run by by us, and all the profit from it comes to to supporting actions of our collective, and it's also a form of info shop with uh, book sale and uh, zines and so on and flyers. Uh, and other spaces are, as you said, a, a free shop, a, a place for exchanging your clothing and other items. Uh, without money. There is a recording studio that c can be used by uh, bands or for the purpose of future pirate radio, possibly. <laughs> uh, That'd be great. There, uh, there is a graphic room. There is a, a bike cafe where you can come fix your bikes that runs sort of as independent collective because there is a lot of people who, who organize it who also don't live here. Um, What more, there is a seriographic 
workshop where we produce some of the distro. There is also an open kitchen and uh, a conference room. And here we have a um, revolutionary amateurs uh, singing group, a music school. And also a big part of our initiatives is so-called Street University, which is, uh, uh, it was already a few editions of it. And it's a bunch of uh, courses done by people for people, uh, exchange of knowledge. There is a lot of languages, Polish for foreigners, French, Arabic, and so on, but also um, also more theoretical and more practical workshops on different issues. And the rule is that you come and freely exchange your knowledge. If, if you if you can teach or learn something, you can come and, and it's it's a sort of free classes. And uh, also we are involved in many in many bigger initiatives or or alliances like the tenant movement in Warsaw is a bunch of tenant associations, but also a lot of tenants who are unorganized, who are struggling in their ways. Uh, it's one of the main fields of our uh, actions and more widely struggle for the right to the city, to the public space, defending parks, schools, and so on. And, uh, this, this sort of struggles for, for the city as common good. Also, this place is, uh, involved in uh, supporting refugees and migrants. Uh, there is a group, a Polish m Warsaw section of No One Is Illegal, it's called Migration Is Not A Crime. And it's uh, this group started, originated uh, on the wave of protest after police murder of Maxwell Itoya, uh, a Polish citizen of Nigerian origin who was who was killed by a cop. And after that, there was a movement of, of uh, resistance against pol police violence and racism here. And mm, a lot of people who are now organized in this collective were also involved in these protests. And after that, the group as a, as a group formed, uh, formed in the wave of fall 2012 hunger strikes in Polish detention centers. Uh, there was, there was a wave of hunger strikes that, uh, that happened in most of these uh, detention centers. And this group, uh, migration is not a crime formed then as a support group for people inside these prisons and uh, to inform the outside world and to coordinate between them and so on. And now one of the goals of this group is printing a book by Ekaterina Lemonjava, uh, one of the, uh, refugees who started this protest then. Uh, she wrote a book about her experience of migration in Poland and Polish detention centers. And uh, and we are trying to grassrootingly print it, uh, publish it. But also this group is now in, involved in, in supporting the, the situation of migrants and this current so-called migrant crisis. And uh, also it's been organizing uh, anti-Frontex days uh, for past few years against the European deportation agency that has its place in Warsaw. Uh, and it happened also this year as an international demonstration against Frontex in Warsaw. Moreover, we have some anti-fascist group that are meeting here. And uh, we also run this uh, legal cleaning for, for tenants uh, every week. And also any any initiative that goes along the, our rules <laughs> is welcome to, to, to join and to partake here. So, so I can't even remember all the, all the groups and people who are meeting here and doing all the initiatives. Really great. <laughs> it sounds like much space for politically and socially activities, which we are running out of the space mm, behind, behind this building, I saw another squad, which is called Pshotnia. Um, how would you say, at which point are you working together? I think this, uh, this is a good question because I think we, we are lacking a coordination between each other. And, uh, I feel regard that it's the cooperation isn't very close. We have some ties and, uh, I think uh, also these places have slightly different profile and Przychodnia is more focused uh, as independent cultural center that does a lot in the field of independent culture and music and organize much more concerts and so on. Uh, and we are m more 
we are coming more from the tenant movements and we have more of this uh, tenant perspective seeing our place more as a housing strike then we we sometimes refuse to use words squat and we prefer just the occupied house and we call ourselves white tenants instead of squatters and it's just slightly slightly different profile which doesn't mean that Przychodnia is not active politically or that we are not doing some independent culture but i i think this fields are slightly uh, slightly different profiles and and i think that's that's one of the issues uh, but i think we should be we should be coordinating better and organizing our actions more uh, more together which uh, which when we do it it brings uh, good profits uh, for example i mean it good it has good outcomes it brings good fruits uh, <laughs> Uh, example is the cooperation on, on re-establishing anarchist Black Cross in Warsaw. We did anti-prison days last summer, about a year ago, and we also organized a New Year's Eve party here on, for both squads. That was a fundraiser for, for anarchist Black Cross that helped uh, raise the money to, to, to run a few few big cases uh, that we weren't be, wouldn't be able to afford uh, other way. And it also had a had a point to it of direct solidarity because part of this New Year's Eve was going uh, to the uh, to the prison here in in city center and doing some firework solidarity chanting thing outside the wall. And I think yeah, this this example on cooperation on anarchist Black Cross shows that there is a big field where we could join forces more effectively, and then it's really fruitful yeah of course it sounds like a plan <laughs> um we are talking about the anarchist black cross so let's change the issue to anarchists i heard that the fa of rosara is just not active how would you describe the anarchist movement in generally at time in rosara i think uh yeah speaking about the anarchist federation here it's I wouldn't say it's completely inactive. It's a, this group does something, but it's not, uh, it doesn't have a leading role. And I think, um, in Warsaw, we have a big plurality of different anarchist or uh, communist or radical left groups and that lack coordination a bit and that there are sometimes in not direct or more direct conflicts with each other for different political profiles. And I think a big issue for uh, for us is to to work on uh, on forms of solidarity and cooperation that wouldn't make it that would keep this plurality, this fruitful plurality, and wouldn't make it one centrally organized uh, movement with hierarchical structure, uh, which is another another danger, another um, edge of this problem. But we should work on some forms that would keep the the difference, but also some sort of coordination between different groups. And I think in some issues we are managing to do these alliances, but in other issues it fails. And I think especially in Warsaw it's it's a big problem. But then on the other hand, for example, in Poznan, I would say that uh, the FA there is too centralistic and it's too It's it's a strategy that doesn't appeal to me to have a uh, one core that is a uh, coordination committee for for the rest of the initiative because that's the worst of the Bolshevism you could find the the centralized structure that also creates hierarchy and then it comes out in 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 sad issues like recent sale of Ozzy Squad that was sort of forced on the on the of this collective by the anarchist federation that's decided this is not profitable anymore and we should close this section that's that's the the other side of the problem and i think we should find some balanced way between between this too much centralism and that we see in poznan and this too much of disorganization we see in warsaw and that's some work to do so that would be would have been my last question what your opinion is about the selling of Otschis. Do you want to say anything about this matter? Or Yeah, uh, definitely. I would be speaking here for myself because there is a bit of discussion inside Collective, but I think this is uh, despicably bad for squatting movement in Poland and it puts 
our political work years back. And uh, I think we should definitely never sell any space. And uh, also what worries me even more is the process behind it that was described in a critical text, uh, no means no, Otsisk is not for sale by the former member of this collective, speaking from experience of this collective that shows anti, anti-democratical and authoritarian way it went. And I, I trust the author and I trust this text. And I spoke with a lot of people from Otsisk that it wasn't clear decision uh, done in a way it should be da- done in anarchist movement. And I think, uh, speaking for myself here, it's, um, it's very, very bad it happened and it shows us that we lack anti-capitalistic perspective if we can sell something and that also that we lack uh, the anti-hierarchical perspective if it can be done this way. And I think we should take from this experience some critical, some critical points and be very, be very aware about the informal hierarchy, about the authoritarian tendencies like that and uh, about about the issue of autonomy of different spaces and so on and so on. And I think that this should never have taken place. Yeah, I feel really sorry about that. Yeah, I think I think the, the, uh, the anarchist movement there is so should uh, should be more openly critical about this decision because it was just bad decision. And it doesn't mean that entire that all people involved in it are bad or that entire anarchist federation in Poznan is bad but it should take a critical look on its bad tendencies that are happening and it should be changed. Yeah, thank you, Paolo, for these last words and thank you for the interview. Is there anything special you would like to add? Maybe some announcements for events? or I would uh, also like to send greetings to the newly forming collective of radical Schreber gardeners <laughs> that are, uh, that are, uh, fighting now with the developer on, as a part of reclaim the fields network here on the outskirts of Warsaw. And they are now we are just after their action camp. Uh, and, uh, I think this is also a really interesting collective, another place to visit in Warsaw, uh, except Siena and Przychodnia. Uh, and to follow because they're great. <laughs> and I would also uh, uh, recommend visiting the mig- migration, Migracja No Blocks Org, uh, which is in Polish migration, which is a, a, a website of this migration is not a crime that can, where you can find updates about migrant situation in Poland. And it's also in many languages. And also website of our collective, serena.tk, where you can find about our actions. And also I would like to recommend for everyone to grassrootingly organize and struggle with capitalism and state. Thank you, Pavel. We say bye from A-Radio. Bye, Pavel. Bye. Hearing us soon.